Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Here we are continuing our work on our Stern Memory Lane. This is an early solid state machine. Um, I've been working on rebuilding the MPU board and in the meantime of diagnosing some other problems with the game proper, I've put in the brand new Alltech MPU board in the back box. And you can see that that's right there. Um, always good to have an extra board around that you know works really well so you can remove one point of possible problem when you're diagnosing others. So I'm just trying to see how well this game is working, what's wrong with it. I haven't cleaned it up, I haven't even vacuumed it, but um, I've been checking on all the connections. So in the last installment on this machine, I repinned one of the connectors going to the MPU board because once we got the game to boot up, it wouldn't start a game. And I traced it to one of the pins on this connector, so I just went ahead and repinned the whole connector. So there's a new connector there. We're ready to boot the game up. <clears throat> and see what we've got. So let's do that. I'll uh, I'll keep it on the MPU board so you can see and apply power. And you'll see the LED blink once. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't know. I think it was seven. And now you see it blink dim lightly. Uh, that's this. There's two LEDs on this board, but on a normal one, there's only one, and it's the upper one. So the game's booted up. We can see the displays are working. Uh, it's got uh, 13 credits on the game. If we zoom back out, you can see. So everything's working nicely. We've got lights on the board and everything. Uh, let's let's fire up a game. I think we went through diagnostics in one of the earlier videos, but I'm going to fire up a game because the problem we had was the start button wasn't working. So let's see if it's working now. So I'm going to go reach down here and hit the start button. Bingo! So now we've got the thing working. Let me waltz in front of the camera. Take a look. Okay. Right off the bat, one of the flippers is out. And the left one seems to work. The right one is not working. So we'll just see what we've got here. <laughs> that was good. Um, I'll just roll around, roll the ball around. We have these uh, pin targets. All of them seem to work except for the number three. Oh, cool! Now it's working. Great. That's good. Drop targets. Stand ups. Stand ups working. Slingshots are working. That's nice. Drop target. Got hole pop bumpers. Try this upper uh, this upper hole. Okay, maybe not. Okay. I'm getting there. So looks like the switch matrix is working. Well, we got one flipper out. This is cool. I thought number three. Okay, so it looks like nine and seven. Okay, that's a strike. So you gotta you hit all ten of them before it resets. Okay. There we go. That's good. So it looks like essentially the game is working now. Now it's up to me to clean it up a little bit. So we've got a flipper out. Not sure what the problem is with that. Oh, look at this. This flipper is it stayed energized. So I'm going to shut the power on, off. Um, I hit the flipper and it stayed up and it was energized. That's not a good thing. So we've got some kind of problem on the flippers. Um, I do not want to burn out a coil, so when you hit when it when you hear something on and buzzing, you want to shut the uh, you want to shut it down quickly. Let's take a look back in here. All right, in the back box. So a flipper that seems to be working that intermittently kicks on.
All right, game's booting up. Okay. Just to make sure things okay. I was playing this a minute ago, and it wouldn't boot up. And I looked in the back box, and F4 had uh, blown. So let me show you what I've done. This is a tip thanks to Clay Harrell. If you look over here on the power supply, I've got a 5 amp breaker inserted into the power supply board where F4 is, so that if it blows again, I won't waste another fuse, I'll just trip the breaker. So this breaker is rated at the same amperage of the fuse, so there's no, not necessarily any problem there. Now I have a feeling that something happened with something on the switch relating to the flippers and it caused F4 to blow. I'm going to do a little bit more research, but that's where we're at right now. I've got the connectors repinned, the game's booting up. It's mostly playable. We've just got to get these two flippers working and figure out why the left flipper is staying energized and why the right flipper is not working at all. So that's where I'm at right now. Stay tuned for more and uh, visit pinballhelp.com and uh, feel free to leave comments let me know what you think we're going to slowly be bringing this game back to life and you're going to be following it along with me all the trials tribulations me not knowing what's going on me discovering what's wrong me fixing it me finding out what i fixed didn't actually make it work better me actually finding the real solution hopefully and getting it all working so now that i've got the game operational there's light at the end of the tunnel so now I'm going to bust out the vacuum cleaner, clean the play field, put all new rubbers on it, and uh, hopefully solve the next problem, which is the flippers, and then make this game playable. So stay tuned for more, and remember, visit pinballhelp.com, leave comments, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.